Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> happened on the way back to Dodge from a trip to a straggling little settlement to the southeast called Medicine Lodge. That country was a lot different from the flat prairie land around Dodge City. Down there, it was dotted with buttes and hills of gypsum and red shale, and it was cut by narrow, winding canyons. It was kind of pretty, too, and we were in no hurry, so... Every few hours, we stopped and got down into the shade of some little hill and had ourselves a smoke or two. I don't understand it, Mr. Dillon. Understand what, Chester? Well, Ship, if the Santa Fe Railroad had to start a town like Dodge at all, why didn't they do it down here? This country ain't at all (laughs) boresome. I agree with you, Chester. There's one thing, though. This is better outlaw country. A man can keep out of sight mighty easy among these hills. Oh, that reminds me. What? So can an animal. I saw some antelope tracks headed toward the other side of this hill. I just might sneak up there and have a look. We could sure do with some fresh meat. Yeah. Uh, What rifle did you bring, Mr. Dillon? Uh, Springfield 45. Mm. Well, that'll take care of anything within a thousand yards. Uh, providing I hit it. If you can't, just give me a yell. I'll come help you. <laughs> Good hunting. Somebody was shooting at me, Chester. What? He hit you? No. Well, can you see him? If I could, I'd have had a bullet in him. You you didn't see him at all? Well, I saw the smoke from his rifle. Well, then maybe you hit him. And if I didn't, I came awful close. Can I take a look now? No, you better stay where you are. What was he shooting at you for, Mr. Dillon? Well, I'll ask him when we get close enough, Chester. I know where he was. We'll skirt that hill to our left there and come up on his flank. I don't like getting bushwhacked. That's where he was, Chester, behind that clump of beard grass there. Well, he sure ain't there now. Yeah, I guess I didn't hit him after all. 
I don't see no sign of blood. No, but we can track him anyway. You ride to one side, and I'll follow his trail. All right, sir. You yell out if you see anything at all, Chester. Yes, sir, I sure will. Now, well, here's where he had his horse. Wait a minute. No, by heaven, those are mule tracks. Hey, look. Beyond them trees there, Mr. Dillon, there's a little stream over there. Yeah. It's big enough to hide his tracks. All he has to do is ride down the middle of it. Well, you can follow along one bank and I'll take the other. He's got to come out of the water someplace. Well, how are we going to tell if he's headed upstream or down? Uh, I never thought of that. Now, here's where he went under the water, Chester. I'll go over and see if he rode straight across. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Dillon. What? Come on down here. Yeah, what is it? Well, look at them tracks, Mr. Dillon. He come out of the water right here. Now, what was he doing riding downstream a hundred yards? All that did was slow him up. Oh, he's crazy. Anybody riding a mule must be crazy. Well, he can't be too far ahead of us, Chester. Let's get him. This is it, L&M Filters. It stands out from all the rest. Miracle tip, much more flavor. L&M's got everything. It's the best. L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M's got everything. Everything? Everything. Best flavor? L&M stands out for flavor. The miracle tip draws easy. Let you enjoy all the taste. Best filter? L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white Miracle Tip for quality or effectiveness. Best tobaccos? Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L&M tobaccos. Light and mild. Every way, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. How easy they draw. How mild they are. L&M is sweeping the country. It's America's best filter tip cigarette. For a half a mile or so, we had no trouble tracking him. But then he started up along the side of a low hill that was mostly shale. And since his mule was unshod, his trail became almost impossible to follow. We lost it over and over again. And I had to get down and move along a foot or two at a time in order to pick it up. But finally, some tracks led down into the soft dirt. And a couple of miles further on, we spotted a little cabin. like he ain't nothing but a nester, Mr. Dillon. Well, he handles a rifle better than any nester I ever saw. Yes. Ah, well, we better go on foot from here, Chester. Mm-hmm. Ain't no sign of nobody. He's probably inside, waiting for us. Well, he hasn't shot at us yet. Let's chance it, huh? Walk right up there. Okay. There's a corral out back beyond that wagon, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. There's his mule. Just stuck his head up. And there must be somebody home. I hope they don't come out shooting.
How do you do, ma'am? What do you want? We're looking for your husband. Is he home? We don't know who people are out here, mister. Now, my name's Dillon, and uh, Miss Chester Proudfoot. How do you, ma'am? Never heard of you. Uh, we're strangers here. This ain't a good place to be, mister. You better keep riding. We, uh... We gotta talk to your husband first, Who ma'am. you join with, Liza? Well, there's a couple of strangers standing here, Mr. Peavy. We got nothing for strangers. They want to talk to you. Get him away from the door. I'll come outside and talk to him. Mr. Peavy said to get away from the door. All right, ma'am. He's coming out now. You stay here, Liza, and keep Paul out of the way, too. I want to see what's going on. Go back to your room, Pa. He carries that rifle like a Blue Ridge Mountain man, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. My wife says you want to talk to me. What about? Your name's Peavy? Albin Peavy. I'm Matt Dillon, Peavy. They don't mean nothing to me. I'm a lawman, U.S. Marshal. They don't mean nothing to me, neither. We tracked you here, Peavy, you and your mule. Tracked me? What for? Because I don't like getting shot at. I don't know what you're talking about, Marshal, but I ain't proud to have you standing here in front of my cabin and putting blame on me. I said we tracked you here. What difference does that make? I didn't do no shooting, and you can't prove I did. If I was you, I'd clear out and leave people to their own business. You try to kill a man, and then you get mad when he complains about it, huh? Why should I try to kill you? It don't make sense to kill a man you don't even know. I never shot at a man without cause in my life, and that's the truth. Anything else you want to tell me? No. Except to leave me alone. All right. Come on, Chester. Well, Mr. Dillon, you can't let him get... Come on, I said. Yes, sir. We just gonna ride off and let him get by with this, Mr. Dillon? We're gonna ride off, Chester, but we'll be back in the morning. We'll be back every day for a week if we have to. Corral's empty, Mr. Dillon. And his wagon's gone, too. Oh, maybe Miss Peavy's inside. Let's tie our horses here, Chester. All right, sir. She might even give us some coffee. Well, these Peavy's ain't exactly the most hospitable folks I ever come across. Well, maybe they'll improve when they get used to us. <laughs> More likely they'll shoot us first. Wait a minute, Chester. What? Over there, coming around that hill. It's Peavy's wagon. But who's that driving them mules? That's a woman. Probably Miss Peavy. Where are you supposed to be in? Out shooting strangers, probably. Well, they'd be better off if they spent their time fixing this place up some. It's going plumb to ruin. Now, Peavy's got other things on his mind, Chester. Yeah, he sure has. <laughs> he acts like a man riding shotgun, doesn't he? Fancy letting his woman do all the work. Get down, Liza. They'll stand. Morning, Peavy. Ma'am. I thought I told you to leave us alone. You did? Then what are you doing back? Well, I thought you might be a little more friendly than you were yesterday. I, uh, I guess I was wrong. I ain't got time to be friendly. No. Marshal, I'll tell you straight out so you won't get any wrong ideas. There's a man in that wagon. What? He's dead. Shot dead. And we're going to bury him now. Uh, who is he? His name don't matter. But I didn't shoot him. You can go look if you want. He's been dead most a day now. 
Well, what are you doing with him? I found him laying out there, so as I got the wagon and brought him in, I'm going to bury You're him. You're going to a lot of trouble, Peavy. Why? I found a man laying dead on the ground. I ain't going to ride off and leave him there. Where did you find him? Out that way, a few miles. What difference it make? None, maybe. You want some help? We don't need no help, Marshal. All right, we'll leave you to your work. Let's get our horses, Chester. We rode off in the opposite direction the Peavies had come, made a circle and picked up their wagon tracks about a half a mile from the cabin. It was an easy trail to follow, and an hour later we found the spot where they'd picked up the body. It proved what I'd suspected all along. So we turned around and rode back toward the PV cabin. We were about a mile from it when we saw an old man and a woman ahead of us, both armed and both riding mules. Well, yeah, they've seen us, Mr. Dillon. They're stopping. Good. They don't look none too friendly, neither, do they? And yeah, nobody does around here. Hello? He won't even wave. Hello. Who are you? I'm a U.S. Marshal from Dodge. My name is Dillon. Looking for somebody? Maybe. What's your name? Cade. Jack Cade. This here's my wife, Ellen. It ain't us you're looking for, hmm? You live around here, Cade? A few miles from here. Albin Peavy, a friend of yours? Not hardly. Shut up, Ellen. Now, if you're not friends, what are you doing here, Cade? man can ride where he pleases. Sure. But when a man and his wife start out carrying rifles and are headed for Albin Peavy's place, it might be different. You keep out of this, Marshal. Us Cades don't need no lawmen. Who is it, Cade? Your son? What's he know about Ben? I told you to shut up, Bill, and I'll do the talking. Ben, huh? Is that it, Cade? Did Peavy kill your son, Ben? All right, you're so smart, I'll tell you. A man like Peavy don't deserve to live. He killed Ben, then he stole him. Run off with his body. Man can't get lower than that. How do you know he killed him? I found Ben last night, that's how. Last night? I couldn't handle him alone, so I went home after Ellen. Then it got dark, and we had to wait there till morning. And he's gone by then. I knew it was Alban Peavy stole him, and he killed him, too. But he's going to die for it. We're going to face him straight on and get it over with. Fast. Ellen's as good a shot as I am, Marshal. Look, Kate, if Peavy killed your son, I don't blame you for being mad. But he must have had some reason for killing him. It ain't none of your bother, Marshal. I keep telling you. All right, I'll have to make it, my bother. Don't move, Kate. You're covered. Miss Kate, you hold that rifle down or I'll have to shoot your husband. Pretty sneaky, ain't you? Get a rifle, Chester. Yes, sir. All right, give it to me, Kate. Take it. And I'll take yours, Kate. Go ahead. You got another rifle? Where? At home. And I'll get it, too. You're not going home, Kate. What do you mean? We're going to go see the Peavies first. Like you say, we're going to get this thing over with. I've got L and M. I've got L and M. I've got L and M. And L and M's got everything. Best filter. No filter compares with L and M's pure white miracle tip for 
quality or effectiveness. Best flavor. The Miracle Tip draws easy, lets you enjoy all the taste. Best tobaccos. Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L and M tobaccos. Light and mild. Today, buy L and M. It's sweeping the country because it's America's best filter tip cigarette. Yes, today, why don't you get L and M? Because L and M's got everything. This is it, L and M filters. L and M's got everything. It's the best. Cabin's empty, Chester. Uh, where have they got to? You stay with the cage. I'm going to take a look around back. I hope Alban Peavy shoots you, Marshal. And I hope he doesn't. Keep an eye on him, Chester. Yes, sir. You stand real easy now, Cade, and quiet, too. Mr. Peavy? What? You fetched my rifle, Liza. No, stay where you are. Now, don't you move either, Peavy. What'd you let him get the drop on us for? I didn't see him. I'm not going to shoot anybody, Peavy. Chester, bring him back here. What are you up to anyways? I want to explain something to you, Peavy, and to Jack Cade and his wife, too. Cade? Yeah, we met them coming over here to kill you. I've got to get my rifle. My They're not armed. We took their rifles. He's right, Mr. Peavy. They ain't armed. I'll kill them with my bare hands. You move and I'll bend my gun barrel over your head, Peavy. Look at that marshal. He's burying him. Peavy's burying my boy. Is that who it is, Peavy? Is it Ben Cade? Oh, tell me. Well, what's the difference now? It's Ben Cade. Oh, why didn't you leave him? Why did you bring him here? There's another grave here, Marshal. You can't see it. I fixed it so nobody can see it. What? Two months ago, Ben Cade shot my son. Before he died, I promised I'd someday bury Ben nearby, and that's what I'm doing. It's your boy's own fault he got shot. If he had been hounding Ben, it wouldn't have happened. So that's what this feud's all about, huh? It ain't over yet, Marshal. Peavy's gonna die for killing Ben. Now, wait a minute, Kate. Peavy, I want to ask you something. Well? You were after young Kate for killing your son, is that right? That's right. And now he's dead, you're satisfied? That's all I wanted. It don't matter who killed him. And you, Kate? You're after Peavy because he shot your boy. I'll kill him for it if it takes ten years. Well, you're wasting your time. The feud's over, gentlemen. Huh? I killed Ben, Kate. What are you talking about? He tried to shoot me from ambush. He thought I was Peavy stalking him. So I fired back, and I must have hit him. But he didn't die till he got across that stream where you found his body. We tracked him as far as the bank, and then I got smart and picked up a trail that come out down below. I thought it was Ben's, but of course it was Peavy. Yeah, true. Peavy, you didn't shoot him? I never claimed I did. You can't blame the marshal, Kate. No. He had to defend himself. I I ain't blaming him. I'm sorry it happened, Kate. But now maybe both of you men are ready to agree that there's been enough killing around here. What do you say, Peavy? He's been enough for me. I'm satisfied. 
What about you, Kate? What do you think? It ought to stop now. We lost our boys. I'm thinking maybe it's right that they should be buried here like that to kind of remind us. Kate? Yeah, Peavy? You leave Ben here, I guess you ought to come by once in a while. Well, I'd want to do that. See my son's grave. I'll take good care of him. Both of them. Marshal? Yeah. Maybe if my woman boils up some coffee, all you people sit down with us. Well, thank you, Peavy. I think everybody would like that. And now our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. Mild and plenty quick on the draw. That's L&M for you. And the pure white miracle tip on the business end of every L&M filters out everything but the taste of the world's finest tobaccos. All you have to do is pick up a carton of L&M's and you'll see what I mean. L&M stands out from all the rest. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Vivi Janis, John Daner, and Vic Perrin. Harley Bear is Chester. Stop! Start smoking with a smile with Chesterfield. Smiling all the while with Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield, they satisfy. Put a smile in your smoking. Buy Chesterfield. So smooth, so satisfying. Chesterfield. This is Alan Edwards speaking, and I hope you'll be with us when l m Filters brings you a new form of dramatic TV journalism, Mr. Citizen. I'm the host, but you are the star. It's your program because it's the true story of you or your neighbor at a time of crisis, emergency, or inspiration. Next week, next month, next year, Mr. Citizen may be you. So watch for Mr. Citizen. Check your local TV listings for time and station. Listen to Gunsmoke again next week, transcribed for L&M Filters.